It's nearly Valentine's Day, and around this time of year, a lot of people come up to me and say, Will, you're a mathematician. I need some relationship advice. Should I dump my boyfriend slash girlfriend? In fact, this happens so often that I've decided to make a video explaining the mathematically approved number one best dating strategy. First, I need you to tell me how many relationships you think you're going to have. For example, I'm on course for about nine relationships before I hit my 40s, which for a mathematician is pretty good going. Now, each of my potential partners is going to have a rank according to how good a match they are. Number one is the best match, the kind of person who shares my love of post-bop jazz and subscribes to my channel on YouTube. Number nine is the worst match and would run over my pet lizard Graham as soon as I was out of the house. Since I can't see into the future, I don't know what order these people are going to come in. But I do know how to maximise the chance that Graham and I end up in a relationship with match number one. The best strategy is to quickly end the first 37% of relationships. That's pretty much the first third, so these three people here. Sorry. After eliminating, I mean dumping, the first one third, we have a better idea of who makes a good partner. And we should stick with the next person we find, who's a better match than everyone we've dated so far. My fourth relationship is with Miss Pigtails, and we make a pretty bad couple. My first relationship was better than this, and so... You know what's coming. Right, goodbye. But now we get to my fifth relationship, and it's great. This is someone Graham and I could really see ourselves settling down with. It's the best relationship we've had so far, and so... Who knows, maybe I should start to look for a ring. You can see that they're not the perfect match for me, but if I end the relationship, I don't know if someone better is going to come along. The least risky move would be to try to stay together. Even though this time it didn't quite work out perfectly, the procedure I followed gives you the best chance of ending up with your best match. In fact, the probability that you end up with your ideal partner is a number we've seen before, 37%. You see, what I've just described is a mathematical problem that has been solved using probability theory. It's quite a tricky problem, and I don't have time to work through the solution in this video, but I've put a link to the solution in the description. Check it out, and if you follow all the working, you'll see where the 37% comes from. Here's a clue. 1 over e is equal to 0.37. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.